As the CTO of Ripple confirms that a settlement and IPO will happen with Ripple and XRP, XRP is anticipated to soar over $150. Even market watchers predicted this price increase once more when Ripple CTO stated that a settlement will be reached with the SEC and that Ripple will formally declare an IPO on September 29, 2023. As we all know, Ripple CTO David Short recently confirmed some absolutely mind-blowing news. It is true that Ripple will announce its IPO and settlement during the victory party planned for September 29, 2023 in New York to celebrate the court victory over the SEC. That's not all though. David Short, the chief technology officer of Ripple, has also hinted that he will go to the event and take part in this important announcement. This is exactly in line with my point of contention because a settlement is being reached and will be made public on that day. And in addition to what the Ripple CTO has claimed, the SEC and numerous lawyers have also provided evidence. Because in this video, we do some in-depth research where we examine the particulars of the individuals involved and then go on to evaluate a number of court documents that all show a settlement will happen on that day. Actually, this is a secret session in preparation for a public SEC meeting that will take place on September 14, 2023. The Institution and Resolution of Injunctive Actions, the Institution and Resolution of Administrative Processes, the Resolution of Litigation Claims, and other subjects relevant to the examination and enforcement proceeding are cited as the four key topics that will be covered at the seminar. These topics are all closely related to one another. The most absurd feature of this meeting is that it is secret, which suggests that the SEC doesn't want the general public to know about it and further suggests that Ripple will likely be brought up during the settlement negotiations. I appreciate it. Even Johnny Deaton, a participant in the Ripple SEC action who is presently representing over 75,000 XRP holders, has said that there is a good chance that Ripple will reach a settlement with the SEC. What the heck are you talking about, Crypto Geek? You might be asking, because the SEC has formally begun the appeal process to categorize XRP as a security, I can understand. However, this is completely false because the SEC isn't even interested in arguing an appeal or in appealing the Ripple SEC lawsuit. Even the requirements for doing so have not been met by the SEC. This is all the outcome of my in-depth research to use Ripple as an example. Instead, given the circumstances, they are not in the best position conceivable. Thus, they are attempting to force Ripple into a settlement. They seem to have just sustained a sizable loss as a result of the choice to treat XRP as a cryptocurrency rather than a security in and of itself. This battle cost a fortune to wage, and it seems that everyone is to blame. Because they need to succeed in some way, a settlement would be like a game to them. What other cards do they still possess that they could use? The only remaining line of defense is to state that they would file an appeal if a settlement with Ripple cannot be achieved. Ripple itself would want to resolve the conflict, thus it would also make perfect sense. As you are all aware, the judgment held that XRP was not a security appropriate for regular investors. However, XRP was treated as a security when it was sold by Ripple to banks and other institutional investors. As a result, there was a tie in this case regarding the XRP coin. And if the SEC had given them clarification and proclaimed XRP to be a no security for both financial institutions and retail, Ripple believes that they would surely be a pen test settlement. The conclusion that XRP is not a security, even for institutional investors, is therefore anticipated to be made very soon, most likely in the days prior to September 29. But in exchange, the rival will be forced to pay a fine, get a warning, and effectively apologize. The price of XRP is said to have increased significantly as a result of all of this, maybe by $50 to $150. In fact, XRP has made it clear that he is willing to risk it all, setting a goal of $50 per XRP in September, failing which I will permanently delete my account. You beta testers can screenshot this, and it makes a lot of sense because, according to the rival CTO who has confirmed it here, the scenario will be fully depicted in the IPO. A fact, it would make perfect sense for them to reach one of these numbers between 50 and 150. And as a result, I'm quite excited. You can probably tell that I sincerely believe in XRP based on the way I speak. That SEC and Ripple would need to formally set up a date at the Douay Settlement Conference back on July 18, 2023, 
when the judge actually made a ruling deeming XP of itself, not a security. This judge is Judge Sarah Netburn, who we have seen before and who initially handled the lawsuit. Ripple has been able to constantly create a situation ever since. When only holding 20% of the monthly supply, Ripple had already begun relocking 80% of it. Many connections have been made too. When you carefully evaluate their current situation, the most likely scenario is that S and T and Ripple formally agreed to settle on specific terms after the Ripple SDC settlement conference concluded in a resolution. One of those conditions would undoubtedly be that no more than 20% of Ripple's so could be retained, and the remainder would be useless. It makes no sense for Ripple to just lock what is in SQO back inside SQO. With the 1 billion tokens they receive, they should take the SQO funds and put them into another wallet if they wish to keep it separate. The SEC and Ripple must have reached an agreement stipulating that 80% or 800 million XRP will be returned to the SQO and not be touched. Additionally, this will benefit holders of XRP because the supply would be limited. In actuality, it's highly likely that there will be a sudden increase in demand and a rapid decrease in supply, which will result in higher pricing. The Rencom Network, one of the largest rental asset companies with operations in more than 130 countries, is another similar currency that has gone through this identical situation. This coin's price has increased significantly. In fact, over the last three weeks, there has been a surge that is still growing, nearly a 3,000% increase. This is due to the fact that only 50 million of the coin's 100 million total units are now in use, and the other 50 million will be given out annually as prizes to token holders. The reason for this is that there is a very limited amount of the coin, which also contributes to the rarity of the earned tokens and rentcom.org. Additionally, they provide all of their holders with an annual 10% return from the 50 million locked up tokens that are not currently in circulation. They are used for rentable properties. The value of this coin is anticipated to increase very quickly because to the relatively low circulation quantity, I believe it is now under 50 million and the 100 million total maximum manufacturing. Due to the fact that it won't be used or in circulation in the same way that XRP is, the supply of this coin will decline. It will be the same as a bird if the ripple escrow is left neglected and 80% of it is actually locked up. Additionally, XRP's price will have to increase because of the increased demand. There is a ton of information and evidence that strongly supports the idea that $150 is a cheap price, and even a Wells Fargo analyst has predicted that XRP will increase by between $100 and $500 in the upcoming four huge seven months. So setting the price at $150 makes logical sense. Additionally, even if XRP is currently 0.50 in price, its true worth is far higher. And because of this, I continually suggest to everyone I know, including my readers, to remember a cryptocurrency's intrinsic value rather than focusing on its present value and purpose. So, gentlemen, let this be a delightful reminder that XRP will eventually reach $1,000. That will be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself.